Okay. Next question. Uh, hey, Phil, I'm a longtime fan, and I've been watching your videos since 2010. I'm just wondering why you seem to dislike Hideo Kojima so much. Here we go again. I know most of it is just you're joking around about he excessively has his name in the credits and opening cutscenes of his games, but I feel some of the things you say about him have genuine malicious intent behind them. One example is during your recent PT playthrough where you got angry and said things like Kojima is sitting there smoking a doobie and he doesn't know how to make games, and other comments of that nature. I was just wondering if you're joking around with comments like that or if you have genuine disdain for Kojima, thanks. And that's from Smelly Day Goes. Well, <clears throat> I've answered this question before. I'll do it again because... Undoubtedly, every year now, you're going to have thousands more people who are listening to the complete nonsense smear campaign about me and how I hate Kojima, I don't respect game developers, and the KWO is after me. Listen, I like Hideo Kojima and his work. I do. I actually very much enjoy the, the Metal Gear Solid games. I do. I wasn't good at them, but that doesn't mean I didn't like them. Okay? Now, what I have issue with Hideo Kojima is that he tries to do things that are so outside the box and innovative that unless you know what you're doing or how to do it or beat it, that you wouldn't be able to. And you're going to have repetitive fails and it's going to frustrate the fuck out of the gamer. Some people see this as like amazing artistic masterpiece. He made something so cryptic that it's hard to find. It's, it's, it's genius. To me, I say it's stupid. Because when I play a game, I want to play a game that's a functional game. And the reason that I rage during this PT playthrough is because the final puzzle of this playthrough, this is the game, this teaser that he made, is so fucking cryptic. There's no instruction in the game whatsoever as to what you're supposed to do to figure it out. He didn't care, and he even said, they asked him at Gamescom, did you do that on purpose? He said, yes, I purposely made the final puzzle incredibly difficult, ha ha ha. And he thinks he's like some high and mighty god of gaming that he designed this final puzzle that's so cryptic. To me, I think it's fucking stupid. If I play a game, I want the game to be functional, to tell me what to do. And yeah, there should be an element of challenge, but not just fucking endlessly wander around and figure it out for yourself with no hint. I mean, come on. Here, I'm going to give you a task, right? I'm going to build this, this piece of machinery for me. Oh, by the way, I'm not going to give you the instruction manual on how to do it. You just fucking figure it out for yourself. Ha ha, I'm a genius. That's literally what the issue was, what I had issue with with the end of it. Because I was so disappointed that that playable teaser was so fun up to that point. Up to that point, that final puzzle, I was able to figure out all the stuff in the playable teaser. That last one, there's nothing to figure out. You just fucking fuck you. It's literally fuck you. If you randomly figure it out, you do. If you don't, fuck you. And that's literally Kojima in your living room saying, fuck you, you wasted your time on Playable Teaser because I'm a dick. He was just basically being a dick. And that's the kind of shit I don't put up with. Like, no, if you're going to be an active dick to the gamer, then you're going to deserve to get criticized. So in that regard, I criticize Kojima. Yes, Kojima. That's not game design. That's being an asshole to the person who's going to spend money on your product and it's not respectful or respectable to the consumer or the gamer. You should actually tell them what to fucking do so they have an inkling of what to figure out. It's dumb. And the thing that I've criticized Kojima for over the years is that it seems like he doesn't want to be a game designer. He wants to be a movie director. Because take a look at the stuff that he does with Metal Gear. 14 hours of cutscenes in a video game? A two-hour long ending cutscene? I mean, just make movies. And of course he's, oh, I do not want to make movies. Yes, you want to make movies. Stop lying to yourself. You want to be a director. Why else are you teaming up with a movie director to make the new Silent Hill game? Because you want to be a movie director. Just face it. So those are the issues that I have. I don't dislike Hideo Kojima. In fact, it's funny because the KWO, right? These these children, these immature little fucking idiots who sit behind their computers and start this whole movement about TSP sucks, he's not good, you shouldn't watch his content, blah, blah, blah. I created the KWO. The KWO was my idea. It was a joke. I made a joke while playing a Hideo Kojima game about the KWO. I even, a fan made art of it with me and John Rambo with Kojima and a few other people. And we I were putting it up on stream. And then the idiots turned it into their own bullshit that I hate Hideo Kojima, which is bullshit. It was a joke. But that's the thing. This The, the, the little bit of hint of truth that yeah, I have some issues with Kojima, gets turned into Phil hates Kojima, fuck him, he doesn't respect any game developer, and blah blah blah. And that's the problem with the internet. There's one of me, and there's an endless number of you, the viewer. And they could all go out there and spread their slander, and there's absolutely nothing I can do 
to actually dispute it. I can't. Because for every one time that I address something like this, there's another 14,000 things that they can say about me that I can't directly address. And that's the problem with internet popularity. It's a new thing. It's not like celebrity. Because with celebrity, one person in a gossip magazine says something about Tom Cruise and who gives a fuck. But now... 14,000 idiots all say the same thing. Oh, there must be credibility to that. There's no way for me to disprove it because it's 14,000 negative things about me and I can't, so I can't dispel it, right? I can't, I can't just sit here addressing the negativity all day. So this, oh, Phil hates Kojima? Complete lie. I actually like the Metal Gear games. I quite liked PT until the final puzzle where Kojima, probably literally, which is what I said during the playthrough, well, I want to do something that's different. <laughs> so I'm so smart, I'll kick my legs up like this, I'll smoke, I'll have a nice cigarette. Let's make a puzzle that has no solution unless you randomly find it or someone tells you how to do it. Because I'm Hideo Kojima. And that's the kind of attitude I don't like, that elitist douchebag attitude of a game designer. And that's where I have issue with Kojima. There you go.